Hi, this is going to be a Sagittarius X reading for August 2019. This is going to be for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it's going to be for those of you that want your ex back. You're just, you know, wondering what's going on with them, what's going to happen, are they going to come back, you know, what's going on in their energy. And we're going to be looking into that. So this reading, this X reading is going to be specifically for those of you that want an X back. And I just want to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below as I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to book a private paid reading, information will also be down below as well for that. And they are done within 24 to 48 hours. Also, my bracelets are on Etsy as well. We have here the love bracelet. We have here the retrograde bracelet. We have the X bracelet, the heart chakra bracelet, and also the communication throat chakra bracelet as well. So these are handmade. They are three pounds with three international shipping. They are intention bracelets, which means a lot of intention has been put into them to help you overcome obstacles and challenges in different areas of your life. So these are the bracelets that correlate with this reading. And so, um, you know, those are on my Etsy. They are tie bracelets. You tie them on very fuss free they are on your wrist and then you can shower in them sleep in them and you know it really helps you with those areas of your life there are lots of bracelets on my etsy for different areas you know even including career and things like that so you know do check those out if you are interested and also my crystals are also on etsy as well I've been getting so many questions about those so those are on there and um yeah so link to my etsy will be down below sagittaria Sagittarians. Where does Sagittaria even come from? Why did I say Sagittaria? That's really random. Sagittarians. Sagittarii. Sagittarius. I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know the plural for Sagittarius. Anyway, Sagittarius, this is your reading. My stomach just rumbled. Great. <laughs> ah, actually, seven of wands just fell on the floor as my stomach was rumbling. Even though I have eaten, so you know. Okay, it's it's a gut feeling. You know what I mean? Okay, we've got here the page of wands. We've got the seven of wands. We've got the eight of wands, which shows progress. Ooh. Wow, we've got seven and the eight. You know, I was gonna actually just, I, I, you know, when my stomach was rumbling, I was like, oh, that's kind of annoying. I might start the video again. I really don't really ever start my readings again, just because I feel like we're already in that energy. And I feel like when cards come out, it, it just doesn't feel right to start it again, unless there's a te technical difficulty. But I'm glad I didn't stop this reading because of my stomach rumbling. Um, you know, as I mentioned, it's a gut feeling, so let's just go with it. Again, I'm sorry that my stomach rumbled, but um, we've got here the Six of Cups as well, and I mean, wow, we've also got here the Wheel of Fortune. Whoa, right? Whoa. Whoa and whoa. And whoa and whoa and whoa. And whoa. Three of Cups is about reunions, and you know, the thing is, is that this is really about you in this particular spread because of the Six of Cups that we have. I'm thinking a lot about you and also a lot of these ones, these, this fire energy is all to do with you. They want to express things to you, they want to come forward to you even though they have some difficulties right now in their life, there's a lot going on. I feel like there's a lot going on in their life right now, there's, there's a lot that they're dealing with for sure. They still want to come forward, they still want to express things to you. Look at that, Knight of Wands. By the way, the Knight of Wands has come out in the Aries, the Leo, and the Sagittarius reading, I believe. Um, has the Page of Wands done that as well? I mean, that's kind of strange if they both have come out in the readings, but I mean, fire energy is strong. Fire energy is very, very strong um, in the X readings. Wow. King of Cups. Emotional maturity, stability, strength. Four of Swords, they are thinking. They are thinking. Eight of Swords, wow. You know, the fact that the Eight of Swords has come through is actually showing part of their struggle, right? 
it's, it's showing that the struggle that they've had is very much so within them. So whatever's been going on, they know that the struggle comes from them and not from you or other people. I, I really feel like they know that their struggle is very much so an inwards thing, you know. Um, wow. Wow. So the more they think and the more the space and time they have to think, which they're doing a lot, you know, they're really thinking more they're realizing that this struggle that they have within themselves which has i feel blocked this connection before is very much so to do with themselves and they know that it's do it's it's them not you two of cups here things opening up in this connection things coming together two of cups is about things coming together it is about union it is about joy it's about them wanting to literally offer you that cup which we also see here with the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is also a soulmate energy. It is profound. It is beautiful. It is emotional. It, it, it is. It's beautiful. Wheel of Fortune shows as the wheel turns, abundance comes your way. It's, it's showing them coming towards you, especially with the Knight of Wands, thinking so much about you, physical attraction, chemistry, communication, initiation. Wow. And also the King of Cups as well is about you know, them feeling so much more mature and stable and really feeling like they want to take things further. This is also about an emotional bond, right? Emotional bond here also with the soulmate, um, soulmate energy. So, you know, whether the two of you are twin flames, soulmates, you know, you have a past life relationship or you just have a very loving relationship feeling, you know, uh, towards this particular person or a really strong connection to this person where you can't stop thinking about them, it, it shows that there is, there is, you know, a strong spiritual connection here. Because also of this Two of Cups, we have the wings, right? The wings on top. So, I mean, there we go, right? There we go. Strong, 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 strong feelings. It's getting stronger and stronger as time goes on because we have a lot of growth here. So we have the two and the three of cups, which shows growth. It shows, you know, union to celebrations and celebration, celebrating the union with other people. We have the seven and the eight of wands, right, which shows overcoming them, overcoming their own challenges and their own struggles, you know, especially with this eight of swords. We see here with the seven and the eight of wands. This shows growth within themselves, which is the page of wands and the knight of wands. It shows stability within themselves as well. It shows them offering this cup to you, you know, first of all with the Six of Cups and then, you know, you literally having that cup as well. There's a lot of growth here. You just can't make this up. You can't. Look at the Six of Wands. Look at that. That's them coming towards you, pursuing you, wanting something so beautiful and literally wanting you. They want you. They want you. They want you. Repeat after me. They want me, as in not me, they want you, but you know what I mean. They want you. This is about them pursuing, and we've got a lot of cards to do with pursuing. We've got, you know, the Six of Cups here. We've also got the, I mean, the Page of Wands, yes, kind of, but mainly this Knight of Wands as well is, you know, a form of pursuing, and so is this Two of Cups, as I've magically lost my voice midway through, technically towards the end of the reading, but yes. Very much so pursuing. This is also, again, about victory, celebration, success, joy, happiness, a union, as we see a union here as well. So they're really going to be extending out that cup. Whether you accept it or not is your choice, right? But there's definitely a sense of victory, celebration, success, things coming together. You know, August is a month of things growing and blooming. It's it's a time where a lot of um, spiritual connections actually you know, people come together during this time, so it's it's really showing through in this reading as well. It's showing this person is really thinking about you so much. So, uh, Sagittarius, this is your reading, and if this resonates with your situation, let me know in the comment section below, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and, um, you know, thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed. It means so much to me. Thank you for supporting my channel. I'm really glad you enjoy the content. And, um, you know, do check out the description box below for more information on the private paid readings and how you can um, book those if you are interested, the free reading giveaway and how you can enter for a free reading. Free reading? Did I say free reading? I mean free reading. Um, it's just the way my voice is sometimes. And then also if you'd like to purchase or browse my crystals or bracelets, you know, the link for my Etsy will be down below in the description box below. 
the Etsy shop link. And also if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, a link for my Instagram will also be down below. And I hope that you all have a lovely day, night, wherever you are, um, you know, whenever you're watching this and take care. Bye.